Hi everyone, my name is Astrid and today I'm going to talk about the Columbulans. The agenda topics for today are who are Columbulans, fun facts, who likes Columbulans for dinner, what would Columbulans like on pizza, soil structure and nutrient cycling. So Columbulans are the oldest terrestrial arthropods uh, dating back to the early Devonian which happened 400 million of years ago and there are 6,500 species, but 10,000 estimated, and they were considered to be insects for a long time, while currently they have their own subclass uh, under the subphylum Hexapoda. Moreover, contrary to insects, columbulans uh, have internal mouth parts uh, and do not have wings at any stage of their life. And they have a colophore, which is a tube-like structure uh, on the abdomen, which seems to be used for osmoregulation. Fun facts. So, columbulans are commonly called springtails uh, due to their springing device called forcula that most groups have, and which allow them to jump a distance that ranges from 50 to 100 times their body length uh, to escape from predators. This feature is generally common in uh, surface dwelling groups, but absent in groups occupying deeper soil layers, uh, which also lack pigmentation. And the other fun fact is that columbulans can shrink their body at rising temperature. In a scientific study, it was shown that these tiny animals reduce their body size by 30% through several exercises after the temperature was increased by 10 degrees Celsius. Pretty cool. Moving forward, who likes columbulans for dinner? Well, columbulans, uh, which are mostly fungivores, are preyed by higher trophic level organisms. Uh, and among them, we find spiders, uh, small reptiles and amphibians, predatory mites, uh, which in this picture are exactly eating a columbula, and trees, yes, trees, but with the help of ectomycorrhizal fungi. A scientific study showed that Lacaria bicolor provided eastern white pines with 25% of the total nitrogen uptake by consuming columbulans. And this is how it works. Uh, the fungal hyphae immobilize columbulans uh, before infecting them, and then transfer the columbulans nitrogen to the tree roots in exchange for carbon. And then the fungus uses the carbon to synthesize the proteolytic enzymes necessary to degrade the soil organic matter. Now, the most important question. What would columbulas like on pizza? Definitely fungi and preferably pathogenic fungi. In fact, many studies uh, have investigated the role of columbulans as biocontrol agents against crop pathogen resulting in successful control on cucumbers, potatoes, winter cereals, and mostly cotton. However, if palatable fungi are not available, columbulans will feed on arbuscular mycorrhizal fungal hyphae, or AMF hyphae for short, and on organic matter. And some species also uh, feed on nematodes and roots, uh, which is why under certain cir circumstances uh, they can be considered pests. And in support of columbulans as biocontrol, uh, there are several studies that focused on cotton, uh, and it turned out that columbulans prefer the pathogenic rather than the mitoparasitic fungi. In fact, as you can see from this image, uh, when columbulans were given three different species of fungi, they consumed the entire pathogenic colony and grazed just a little on the biocontrol agent. And all these studies on this topic uh, agreed that combining biocontrol agents uh, uh, such as columbulans and mycoparasites, which in this case are fungi that parasite other fungi, or even just by using columbulans, uh, the pathogenic infection on cotton roots uh, decreased significantly. Moving forward, the relationship between AMF hyphae and columbulans has been further explored for their effect on soil structure. And in a pot experiment, it was noticed that both AMF hyphae and columbulans significantly increased the soil aggregation, resulting in plus 30% uh, with only the fungus inoculum and a plus 32% with the columbulans alone, as you can see in this picture and plus 40% when the two organisms were combined. 
These two organisms contribute to cell aggregation through two different processes. AMF hyphae promote bacterial activity through their exudates, which in turn produce humic cement that binds together soil particles, while collambulans directly affect soil aggregates through their fecal pellets which bind together the soil particles. This study demonstrated not just that collambulans promote soil aggregation, but also that the relationship between AMF and collambulans is beneficial to improve soil porosity. As we can see, collambulans play multiple roles in the carbon and nitrogen cycles. For instance, they can affect fungal communities, shifting dominance among species through their feeding preferences. And by protecting plants, they promote the sinking of carbon in plant tissues. Also, as we saw, they promote soil porosity and so um, oxygen availability, which is a direct consequence of soil aggregation and which affects bacterial communities and all soil organisms including collambulans, since they live in the porosphere. One more cool thing about collambulans is that they can promote the dispersal of fungal structures such as spores and hyphae, and also bacteria, through their fecal pellets and by carrying them on their body, as you can see in this image. And you could think, wait a minute, so they can spread pathogenic fungi as well. But scientific studies have shown that not enough viable pathogenic material was spread to initiate any disease, while non-pathogenic fungi as AMF hyphae were successfully dispersed. And so, as we can see, through all these different mechanisms, collambulans indirectly affect the mineralization and immobilization of nitrogen and carbon. Moreover, as any other organism, collambulans are a temporary sink of carbon and nitrogen. And lastly, every time an organism affects uh, some process or some other organism, we assist to a cascading effect and complex cross-kingdom interaction and interrelation. Thank you so much for listening. Um, please consider supporting organic agriculture by consuming delicious organic food, which is better for the soil and for the planet. And be kind to all animals, even those with many legs. Thank you so much again and take care.